Hi, this is a demonstration of density based traffic controller with Android override. So this is an innovative system that uh, allows us to monitor the traffic at uh, various uh, roads alongside the signal and adjust the signal light timings uh, you know, accordingly so as to maintain proper traffic flow across the signal. So for this purpose we are using an A05 family microcontroller which is connected to a Bluetooth modem here. The Bluetooth modem is used to receive Android commands, the overriding commands which are used to switch the signal in case uh, there is an emergency vehicle on any of the roads such as a fire brigade or ambulance. So in such cases uh, the traffic controller can use an Android mobile to connect to the system and override it and switch uh, any of the signals to green as and when desired till the emergency vehicle passes by and after that uh, he can uh, switch control back to normal mode where the signal uh, light timings are adjusted according to the density again and uh, for this purpose uh, we are using IR uh, transmitter and receivers to uh, check the density of the traffic at each of the roads and the entire system is powered by a 12 volt transformer so let's see how the system works let's turn on the system so now you can see the system has been turned on so it's operating in normal mode now so in normal mode as you can see since there is no traffic density at any of the roads it's switching normally each signal is getting the same amount of time for green so let's do one thing let's simulate traffic at one of the roads so suppose this traffic at this road so let's wait for the signal to come here to switch to this road so it's gonna keep the signal green for a longer duration of time since there is traffic on this road so as you can see the green signal is uh, you know it's not switching so as to uh, allow this traffic to pass by similarly now let's do one thing let's simulate traffic at this signal this one so as you can see here uh, this signal is green for a longer duration of time since traffic was detected at this signal and after uh, you know no traffic is observed at any of the signals the signal switching timings will be normal for uh, every signal and one more uh, important feature here is that the traffic controller or the person uh, in charge of that signal can uh, override the system to uh, keep any one of the signals green for a particular uh, duration of time as desired so for this uh, he needs to use uh, an android phone here and let's connect this and uh, connect an android phone to the system now so we will be using this uh, Android app here with a efficient GUI to uh, override the system. Suppose uh, the traffic control detects there is a, a, an emergency vehicle coming from this road. So suppose there is an ambulance coming from this road. So he first needs to go into override mode. So for this he needs to press the center button. So now the system is in override mode. So now he needs to press uh, this particular button. So as you can see on pressing this button, this uh, light, uh, this signal has turned green, and it will remain green uh, as desired by the traffic controller. You know, it won't switch until he uh, switches it uh, back to normal mode. So let's switch it back to normal mode again. So now the system is in normal mode again. So now let's uh, get into override mode. Suppose there is uh, an emergency vehicle fire brigade at this signal. 
So let's get into override mode and let's press this particular button. So as you can see on pressing uh, override mode and this particular signal button, the signal system has overridden and it has switched to this particular signal and we can switch to normal mode again. So again it has switched back to normal mode. So this is how density based traffic controller with Android override project works. Thank you.